I literally look like Oompa Loompa. Mm. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a little bit different from my usual videos. Today's video is gonna be a technique that I'm gonna try out, which is a viral one. I guess maybe a few of y'all would have known about Meredith Duxbury. Her name is quite a name. Ma Meredith Duxbury. She does a foundation routine that is really gross. Actually, I, when I first saw I felt I thought it was really gross. But now it's all over the internet and I really wanted to try it. So I gave it a try to know what I feel about the whole look. Then keep on watching. So first thing, I'm gonna prime my face. I've already moisturized and as you saw, I also removed my facial hair because Matt mentioned that she always makes sure she, she removes her facial hair because otherwise this technique would not work. So I removed my facial hair because I really wanna put it to test because it was so tempting the way she uses so much of foundation. Apart from the part that I don't wanna waste foundation, I really wanted to try it, so yeah, that's what I'm doing here. I'm gonna prime my face using my Laura Mercier primer. primer. So I am gonna prime my face. Or at least I'm protecting my face from all the foundation. I will be applying in a bit. The next step is something I've never ever tried in my entire life. I'm gonna mix these two foundation for today's foundation technique so I'm gonna give it a good shake like she literally uses 16 pumps of foundation I was like okay one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then one two three four five six I have never ever used so much of foundation ever in my life now what she does is she really mixes up in the hand she said mixing is very important she really mixes up and then yeah once i mixed up this is too much foundation she just uses the brush i'm gonna apply it off my hand so much foundation Taking it all off and then I'm gonna use, I've taken all my rings off, make sure you take it and then mm. This is so much foundation She says the warmth of her, of her hands really blends her foundation. Also she takes her foundation to her neck as well. I literally look like Oompa Loompa because of my foundation color is a bit off. But just trust the process, you know. First of all, I'm gonna wash, wipe off my hands. I feel really disgusted. I'm gonna blend in. So this is literally soaking up all the product is what I see here. So much of product soaked in, I guess this wastage of product. But yeah, since we are already here, we are doing it. I'm just blending it properly and on the other side, because this side is all soaked up, I wanna do this one. Uh, now that I've used my foundation, you know, the sponge, it feels like, it doesn't feel like I've applied, you know, so much of foundation. It feels like as usual. So let's see if it really works because I really hope 
it won't work but then it looks kind of fine for me now till now but this is something out of ordinary for me i've never used so much of foundation ever before so let's move on to the the contouring part she uses a cream contour so i'm gonna use this with my hands as well I think she's totally cool like she's super confident and she just doesn't care about what people tell you know that's something I really admire I know that everybody wants to try her technique I really want to use the same sponge I used for my foundation yeah it looks kind of nice it looks fine so for my concealer I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shape in the shade Tan Sand she uses a bright concealer in a big triangle like this Okay, and she blends it in. Ah, I'm already so tired blending it. Now let's move on to the cons I mean uh, the cream blush. She always uses a cream blush, so I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty blush like so, and I'm gonna blend this over again. So the next thing she does is powdering her face so she actually takes a triangle triangular sponge Ooh. now I see why she's famous and she just said it's really gonna work wow I thought it really looks nicer though and then she wipes off her lips Ooh. I like it. I'm gonna dust off the excess powder. My foundation has never been super flawless like this. Yes, it is kind of gonna look heavy. It's not gonna look like skin. So the next thing she does is apply a powder blush. So I'm gonna use the blush, Baked Peach Blush. And for contouring, I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury's Contour. let me come a little closer and show you it doesn't feel heavy at all because when the first time I saw her doing it I really thought it's gonna be like really heavy and oh, I saw many of them uh, wiping off the foundation of the brows but for me it didn't happen like that it looked okay I didn't have to wipe Except for the lips, my eyebrows were still like perfect. I'm really surprised because this looks beautiful. I'll just finish off the rest of my makeup in, you know, fast forward and then I'll be right back. I'm gonna add some highlighter which I forgot earlier. I'm gonna use my Dior highlighter in the shade Glitz number two. I'm gonna take this brown shade and I'm gonna apply it as my eyeshadow. I'm gonna set everything with this Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray. I am in love with my foundation. It feels so put. I've not color corrected. I've not used much of a concealer around my mouth which is a very problematic area for me so this one has really worked fine like I really love her technique now because the first time I saw her I really thought that she's crazy because sorry to say that I really thought she was what is she up to I thought she's she's kind of you know catfishing for views or she's doing it just for the sake of doing or I've seen a lot of TikTok videos which are cringe worthy like people do things just in just to you know attract viewers or subscribers but when she became viral and everybody's trying this I really wanted to give it a try and then here I am 
in love with her technique. I really liked it. I never in dreams thought I'm gonna like what she did. She said, only thing she said was, before you leave a comment or comment on my technique, try it once is what she said. I was like, I'm, I'm seriously blown away. Like it's super good. Like, like guys, see it in close. I'm not even kidding, you know. I really wanna zoom in now. Look at this foundation technique, like. To be very honest, I don't feel the product on my face. I guess because here this found this sponge actually soaks up all the excess product. I can see like there are a lot of loads of foundation in here. I'm gonna do my lips. I'm gonna add a little bit of gloss. I don't really want the matte base to have a matte lipstick it still looks good but i really want a glossy lip i wanted to come a little bit more further like people need to see that this foundation really works it made my entire makeup you know less effort i only had to put effort on the foundation blending other than that everything else was like bread on butter Hey guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Meet you on another one. Bye guys. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel which will be very useful for me. So yeah, meet you on another one guys.